This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Principles, Unit 5, Building Apps, Lesson 17, Building an App, Canvas Painter, Puzzle 18. Making spray paint with nested loops. In order to make spray paint look more real, you will need to draw multiple dots randomly placed around the original XY locations. In order to do this, you will need to place one for loop inside of another. Ooh, tricky. Also known as a nested loop. Yes, it is. You already have the main loop, which visits every index in the event list. And that event list is the array we create. We append to it every time the mouse is moved. So every time there's a dot drawn, an event is appended to event list. An event is the item that stores the X, the Y location, the speed, all that. And uh, the circles whose X, Y locations are used, offset X, yeah. The inner loop should draw five circles. Oh, so we're using the, we're still using the location, but we're going to draw five circles whose X, Y locations use the offset X, offset Y with random value added. Ah, okay. Nested, uh, nested loops. When nesting loops, it's important that you have different variables to count your iterations. Yes, please do. Uh, this causes huge problems. If we had I here, it would be increased twice in the loop, and it throws off the loop. Uh, look at the example at the right. These nested loops effectively say for every possible value in event list dot length, run a loop five times. So we get every, so we're going through the whole event list because we get the length of it. We're starting at index zero. And for index zero, we're running this loop five times. Once we run this five times, we're at the bottom of the larger loop. We go back to the top. We add one to I. And now we're on our first or second time through the loop. We hit this line. We now run this loop five times. Once we run it five times, we hit here. And we go back to the top and add in another to I. Then we loop through J five times, so one, two, three, four, five, hit here, go back to the top, add another tie, drop down, and so on. Since I is used to count variable in the outer loop, we need to use a different counter variable for the inner loop, or things go haywire. Why? If both loops used I as a counter variable, the inner loop would keep changing I, and the outer loop wouldn't count properly. This example uses J as the inner loop variable, but you could use anything that's not I. I see J a lot. I see C for count a lot. I see N for number a lot. Used uh, J standard though as well. Do this. Step shown in animation above. Okay. Add a for loop inside the existing for loop in this spray paint event handler. Change the counter variable to something other than I for the inner for loop. Change the uh, boolean condition so that the inner loop will run five times right so change this condition that uh, says true because every time it runs it's checking if j is true or if j is less than five if j is less than five the computer says true so it wants you to change that condition and uh, it's saying to make it work that way because if j is more than five it says false and then it stops running the array so that's why this is a uh, boolean condition. Alright, so they use complicated words. Uh, change the boolean condition so that the inner loop will run five times. Move the, so just j less than five. Move the circle code inside both four loops. Run your code and confirm that your new button creates a spray paint effect as shown below. Or right here. Okay. So we need to do a bunch. Add a for loop inside the existing one. I'm going to show blocks because I think they're easier to read. So inside the existing one of a spray paint. Oh, yep, yeah, right here. So control, for loop, and then inside, droop. All right, and then I'm going to do the circle because I know I need that. So great, we did that. Change the counter variable to something other than i. And since they said j, I guess I'll use j. So now we're using J. Now make sure, make sure we're going to change this to J. Because all the outside loop now is doing... Oh, no, no, no. No, we're not. No, we're not. Don't listen to me. <laughs> Keep that as I. Because this is the loop that's looping through the event array, right? This is the loop we're going to be using to draw something four or five times. This is what they meant. Uh, change the counter variable we did. Change the... Uh, 
the Boolean condition, and that's what this is. We just change that to keep it true until j equals 5. So now it will run 5 times because j starts at 0. Move the circle inside. We did run the code. Okay, let's give it a shot. Ja! <laughs> All right, and spray paint. Ooh. And it's heavier here because I drag the mouse slower, I guess. <laughs> Let's try it one more time. That's super cool. All right, and spray paint. I love it. I love it. I love it. Cool. So I did what they did. My code was this. All right. These ones are hard to see. Oh, control Z on that. There we are. So many variables. Awesome. All right, let's uh, keep going. I'm excited to see what the finished product will, ooh, will look like. We're getting there.